morning. It's currently Monday and I woke up this morning and the sun was out and I was like, I swear Saturday was meant to be like the last sunny day because I had all these plans to like sort my wardrobe out and do stuff in the house. And my mum was like, no, get outside. It's the last sunny day for like two weeks because it's gonna rain nonstop. But actually we had a tiny bit of nice weather yesterday, mostly rain. And I've woken up this morning and it's sunny. And I was like, oh my God. So I checked my weather. I was like, maybe it was wrong. Maybe it's gonna be sunny. No, <laughs> it's gonna be sunny until 11 this morning. And then it's gonna rain for two weeks. <laughs> so I was like, right, that's it. I'm getting up. I'm not lying in bed any longer. I'm gonna make the most of this last little bit of sun before two weeks of rain because don't get me wrong, I love autumn, I love cozy weather, but I really don't love prolonged rain. I love it for like a day or an afternoon, but two weeks of rain, this is why people move to LA, because that just doesn't happen. But yeah, it's so nice out this morning, like it actually smells so fresh it's a, like it's a really weird smell it's like when it's rained and the sun's come out but it's still very like early in the morning i love it it rem this is gonna sound kind of insane but it really reminds me when i was in primary school we used to or maybe it was walking to i feel like it was walking from my primary school to the village hall or something which was like round the corner it would smell like this <laughs> I feel like if my friend Alex is watching, she might know what I'm talking about and Joe might know what I'm talking about, but it's like, also just smells like our like village veg, veg fair. Like it's, it just is a very nostalgic smell this morning. I can't quite put my finger on what it smells like. It smells like something, our village hall, walking to the village hall in autumn, going to our harvest festival, I don't know, <laughs> or our bank holiday fair where you go in a tent and all the villagers have like grown their own marrows and pumpkins. That's what it smells like. <laughs> it smells like that. <laughs> anyway, you may have noticed I've woken up. So my cold sores have kind of gone, thank God. Haven't really been feeling the best over the past few days. I don't know what it is. I think I've got a virus or Holy shit, that was a pigeon. I think I've got a virus. I've got a heady sinusitis -y awful horrible virus and it's really dragging and i'm taking medication so sometimes i'm like oh i'm fine and i'll like go to the office and then i'll come back and just be like oh my god but i'm hoping um this week i technically have like my week off um which i gave myself at the start of the year did i talk about this i feel like i did in a vlog way way back um basically at the start of this year i wanted to make more time for me slow down with work stuff i'm really summarizing this very quickly uh, make more time for me and things that i really want to do things i never have time for less big work projects um so i've put a lot of things on pause so that i just had this year to really not sort myself out but just give myself like a year of no uh not as many pressures um and it's honestly been one of the best things I've ever done. But part of that was to give myself like a week off every eight weeks. Also aware, this is a very privileged thing to be able to do. And it's only because I am obviously in charge of my career and life and work for myself. I don't have a boss or any other, anything like that. Although people do get holiday in their normal jobs. But yeah, I just decided that that was something I was gonna do because I've done years previous to that where i've gone away for a week in summer and that's been the only time i've had off and it is not good for my mental health personally i know that it can feel a little bit like even when you're off you're not really off so that's what i did and i've got another one of those weeks coming up but i've already i've already slotted some work stuff into it which i knew would happen in some of the weeks because it was more just if i feel i need it i'll take it if i don't feel i need it i'll do half or i'll do a couple of days so I have got some meetings and things. I've got a meeting this morning, but then after that, I am gonna do, oh my God, my arm. Oh, I've been talking for five minutes. And after that, I am going to do some autumn-y bits to the house, which I don't usually film because I look like this. 
and I wear my pajamas and I don't <laughs> think about filming it but I am gonna just film some little bits I've already started with the cushions and things but I can just show you what I've done so far and then I will crack on and show you any other little bits I do today I'm just gonna get followed by this one until I feed her so <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do now so all of last night when we were watching TV I could hear a cricket I just came in here to make up the sofa, plump up all the cushions, and I heard it again. And I thought it was outside, but why on earth would there be a cricket in September outside the window? It's got to be in here. Did you hear that? Or maybe it's a bird? Do birds sound like crickets sometimes? Nah, that's a cricket. <sighs> There's a cricket behind this so far, I swear to God. Where the hell is it? What's out there? Can you hear the cricket? I can't see it, but it's driving me mad. Maybe it is outside. It, I, it sounds like it's just one cricket. And I swear the only reason we have crickets in our garden anyway, or in our house, is the time that Joe filmed that video where he brought them round. We were doing like a guess what it is in a box and he put crickets in there. He bought them from pets at home. <laughs> and then we obviously set them free in the garden. And since then, <laughs> our garden has sound like a bloody desert with all the cricket noises. So I think we may have started our own little like cricket sanctuary around our house fun times right i need to get ready for the day it's a little bit later on now as you can see i've done my hair and makeup so it looks much nicer lauren is here and we are taking some pics for the website exciting but i was like i need to document this moment of me putting the wreath on the door because we're doing that as one of the pictures so i'm gonna look up here by the way two baby pigeons. Oh my god. <laughs> they're so still. I'm and so big. I'm yeah. still so surprised they're in there. That and is... actually, they've not made an awful lot of mess. I'm, I'm not too bothered by that. Look, one of their little shells. I feel like I'm in a staring contest. <laughs> <laughs> Calm, okay. It's okay, we won't come near you. Just ignore us, we're just autumning. <laughs> I also am in the process, I'm doing up this entranceway. I did it last year and I had like one hay bale and a pumpkin. This year I'm going all out. So me and Holly are going on Thursday to Tully's, they're letting me pick some pumpkins, take some hay and some corn. You're getting corn as well? Oh my <laughs> yeah. god. I'm going to try and put corn barn. like up the, oh my god, up here. So good. Um, so, it's not done yet, like I have some wood that needs to go inside, logs and things. That is so cute. I'm not sure about the weather out today. Um, I went like literally after being outside taking those few pictures on the step, my hair, my real hair has like really frizzed so weird i'm like that lauren is the sign that it's gonna rain there's moisture in the air and lo and behold it's about to rain so i'm back inside i've changed my jumper because we were just taking lots of different um pics i've decided to put the fire on and name that film quick in the comments what film is it did you get it right it's You've Got Mail. The best film for this time of year ever. As I said, I am going to show you some little bits and pieces that I have changed, altered, um, switched out because of the time of year. Yeah, I'm gonna do my porchway, like I said earlier, but I'm gonna probably finish that on Thursday. In terms of in here, I've changed out a lot of the cushions, which I do, every year um, but I did buy some new ones I didn't need to but H&M just have 
the best cushions this time of year. I'm gonna leave um, links to anything that I can in the description box as I always do, but these, I have to say, are without a doubt my fave. They're like really soft velvety with like these little indents. I just love them. So I got a lot of these. This one is also H&M. How autumnal is that? And you can also buy the inserts. So I bought the cushion cover and the inserts. And so I've got those mixed in with the normal gray. And then over here, oh, oh, she spotted a doggy. I feel like this is, this is not H&M, I don't think. Oh, I don't remember where that one's from. Maybe next? That one's from next. Or is it from M&S? Hmm. I don't remember, but if I can find out, I'll leave it in the description box. I've had this one for a while. This one's new, and that one is H&M as well. It's just slightly smaller. And then I've done the same thing over here. I've just switched out some of the cushions. This is new. I just thought this was quite cozy, and when we have lots of people in, it's just another place for someone to sit around the coffee table, but that's from Oliver Bonus. And then this basket, which, I mean, you could see, but you can't see now. <laughs> um, this basket I've just filled with throws. This is from H&M. This is from Marks and & Spencer, and it is the softest, biggest throw you will ever see in your life, and I flipping love it. And I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> Before I've linked that in the description box, I'm gonna place an order of many many more because I don't want to run out through the year um, They're really similar to the ones that me and Alfie bought last year from the garden center and So many of you were like, where did you get those throws? They look so cozy But because it was a random garden center All I could really say was like the make of it so then people had to sort of hunt for them this is a Marks and Spencer one. You can get them in size double, as in double bed, because I think you're supposed to put them on your bed. But for me, they're like the perfect cozying up on the sofa throw. And they're just like the garden center ones. And obviously now our garden center ones aren't as good. It's the sort of throw, once you wash it a couple of times, it's never gonna be the same ever again. So I'm gonna order loads, and I suggest you do the same, because they are so great. Um, so I'll leave a link to those as well. Oh, I bought a new uh, front door mat. This was also from Oliver Bonus. It just says hello. I just quite liked it, it was quite autumnal. Um, hello. And then this, which was in another room, I've just brought to here, just because I think it looks nice. Very autumnal. That's kind of it in terms of anything I've done so far. I've got my Bath and Body Works candles on the go. I bought my lovely bouquet, which is here. Look how gorgeous he needs to go in. I changed up these. These are all H&M. I just felt like it went with the colors in the Bug. So yeah, that's all I've done so far, but I am going to try and hunt down any other little autumnal bits that I've got downstairs and like distribute them around the house because today is officially the first day of autumn. So I think I've done very well to wait this long. <laughs> sort of. I mean, the cushions have been on the sofa for over a week, so. Hi. Welcome to my creepy basement. <laughs> this was actually one of the things that really sold me the house because I have so much stuff because I can never get rid of anything. But I was like, I need space for my Christmas decorations, space for my Halloween decorations, space for my every occasion through the year decoration. And I've now got things like costumes, Christmas trees, Nala costumes, is where we dry our clothes. All of Alfie's outside shit. And all the things that's like shit my boyfriend buys. If you know what I'm talking about, I have a highlight on my Instagram of just all the random stuff Alfie buys. Garden stuff, picnic blankets, all of Alfie's gadgets. Just so much stuff. Kindling, logs, all the stuff that if I didn't have this basement, I don't know where I would put it. <laughs> We've gone some pine cones. I think we should take these up. <laughs> I got 
don't think it's too early for glass pumpkins, so we'll take some of those. The ones I bought with Mark. These are outside right? Oh, a little glass pumpkin. <gasps> Nala's witchy pumpkin hat. Costume. Okay, she needs to go upstairs. Growing up, my mum would have bought things like this and I always told myself I will never be like my mum where I buy things because I feel sorry for them if I don't buy them because they look like they have like their own <laughs> lives and personalities and I have become that person. I get it now mum, I get it. say these are this time of year I might put them outside towels hello gorgeous Just come up to the bedroom to put one of my camera batteries on charge and I thought I'd show you the autumnal bed. This is the throw that I had in my other vlog, the waffle throw from H&M. This is the H&M duvet cover, the like pinky one. These are H&M. This whole thing is just H&M. These are H&M. Is this pillowcase H&M? Probably. So yeah, there's just another little slice of autumn. You now find me in the attic, which is not as big as the basement. It's just like, a, it's quite small actually for an attic. I think most people think of an attic as like the whole upstairs space of an entire house, but this one's, it's quite small, but I love it because it's so like not creepy. I think that was one of my things before we moved in here, I was like, can we like spider proof the attic? Because if our attic is cobwebby and full of spiders and really creepy like the attic I always had growing up, I ain't going in there and <laughs> I'm not storing things in there either. So this houses a lot of Zoella Beauty stuff. So in every one of these boxes I have each collection um, that I've ever released, just for the mems, you know? And I've got, let me see. So there's a lot of like, cr there's Christmas wrapping paper, which is what I'm sat on, Chris Nala Christmas outfits, Christmas candles, Christmas jumpers, Christmas stuff that isn't decorations basically. Some more autumn -y stuff. How cute. Pumpkin kisses, harvest wishes. Okay, well, there's a few bits up here. Okay, I've added a few bits to this. I've popped this little glass pumpkin, some conkers and things. And the little pumpkin kisses, harvest wishes, some pics of me and Alfie, and then like the little pumpkin mouse. And then I popped the witch up there, even though I did just say, I'm not gonna do Halloween yet, but I just thought she balanced it out a bit. Um, I've popped me Hello Gorgeous. And I'm not sure about this. I think in the evening, it will look really nice because it lights up inside and I've got the candle there but I think it just needs something else and I can't work out what that needs or if that just looks a bit garish. It's a shame about this massive gold bit because I like the stars cut out of this and the orange goes really well with the Arga and then the orange here and the little pops of orange that I've got like everywhere around here but I just don't know about that pumpkin 
in general, <laughs> I'm not sure why I bought it. I do kind of love it, but it is very like, tacky. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love a bit of tacky, but I think that's where I'm struggling here because I kind of want to mix classy with tacky and I don't know if it works, but so far I like everything I've put out, so I'm conflicted. I don't know about it. I'm gonna see if there's anything else I can add to this so that it doesn't look as like just there. But I don't know. <laughs> don't know about that. Um, one of the other things that I found downstairs was a dog costume, <laughs> which I don't think I remembered that I had bought. So I'm gonna see if this fits Nala. I am going to see if it fits you. Look at you having a little rest by the fire. You just chilling. Right. What's this? I just wanna see if it fits you. Oh my god, it has a freaking hat. Oh my god, <laughs> look at the hat. Nala? Come here. This one? This one? Oh, Baba, you look so cute. Wait. Oh my god, you look so funny! <laughs> can I see if this will go on? Oh my god. Oh my god, Nala. <laughs> Guys, if I can find this, I'll leave it below. I think it was on Amazon. Oh my god. I think this is my favourite thing ever. Nana, you look so funny. You are such a good girl. Yes, you are. Can I take a picture to send to the girlies in the office? Actually, I'm expecting someone to Big girl. Let me take this out now. 